What is happening people? I'm very excited to share this next tutorial with you guys and I'll show you what we'll be making. Are you guys ready? So when I hover my mouse, yay! So you see it is 3D card effect and as you can see as if the font is floating. So this is exactly what we'll be making. So I guess without wasting time, let's get started. Well, I have a blank react project and the only dependency I have is style components right here. So, all right, so what we should do is maybe lay out the, I guess how you wanna organize this. So if I come here, I will just uh, add some comments like so. And what we'll do is we'll have a container, right? And then within this container, uh, we'll have a card uh, like so. And now this card will have two uh, sides to it, I guess, the front and the back. So what we do is we hide the back behind the front, well, kind of pretty logical. So what you will have is you will have the front and then you will have the back and then the front will have its own content and the back will have its own content. So that's how things will be organized. All right, so let's import style components. Uh, once I, we have that, then let's create the container. So I'll say cons container is equal to, and we'll say styled, and it's gonna be a div. And then we're just gonna use this crazy awesome, I guess, uh, syntax. Right, so we have the container. So what we wanna do is we make it a display of flex, flex, right? And then we also want to have it a flex direction of row. And then we will just justify the content, if I can spell, center, like so. All right, so we have the container. So I'll leave these comments here. And what I'll do is I will use the container, like so. Cool. All right, so now that we have the container, then we need to make a card. So we'll say card. I'll, I'll make this one the other way. Use the other syntax. So I'll say div. That's a div. All right, and what does a card have? Well, uh, it's going to have a width. So we'll just say max width. Oh, whoa, not margin. Uh, we'll say max width of, we'll say, two to zero pixel right and then what I want to do is I'll say flex basis I'm gonna give this a 100% meaning uh, pretty much span the entire container that you have so now I have got my card and what I can do is I can come here and I can say card card like so all right so I got my card and the other thing I want to do is come over here and start making a template. So what I mean is I can do const card template, right? And we'll just do style, div, same kind of deal. Like so. All right, so what I'll do is I'm going to type the CSS and then we're gonna look at it. All right, so what we have is just a width of 100% and I have back face visibility. Now, if you don't do this, then when you flip the card, the the back face of the item will be uh, visible. I'll, I'll show you when we get to it. So that's important. It's just the height, the border radius and transform style preserve 3D. That's important. If you don't do this, then you're not going to get the 3D effect uh, that we saw in the demo. So that's very important that you do that. So now that I have the card template, so what I can do is I can say card front, right? And I can say style and I can just inherit from this card template like that. I think that's pretty, pretty nice to have. All right, so that's my card front and then I'm gonna have a card back. Okay, like so, card back. So they both inherit from this card template. So now what I can do is I can go ahead and type these two and then we will take a look. Well, before I uh, type them, uh, let me just use them here. You 
go. So I got my card bag and then within that we'll have the card content. So I'll just come here and I'll say cons card content is equal to styled div whoa all right and then i will just uh why is it complaining maybe because of this no all right there you go yeah type right, it and then we'll discuss it all right so here's my card content and what we need is we can just come here in the card front and i will say Right, so I got the front and back and as you can see they're just on top of each other so we're gonna have to fix this and what I'll do is I'll just say I'll give it an image so which I've already imported if you look in the project it's under the public so images so that's the one I'm gonna import so what I'll do is I'll say uh, background image all right so I got my card image and currently it's um, you know kind of off and stuff so we need to center it and all so i'll say background size right and we will make this cover and then we're just going to center it background position center all right so let's see what that does for us beautiful all right so things are centered now so this is going to have an, a position of absolute because if you don't do that then it'll just come under it so you want to have this very important that you give it a position of absolute so that it goes behind the front and then we can have our effect so i'll say position of absolute right so that's one thing now you're going to see this thing is going to go all over the place but we'll fix that so we'll say top zero and i'll say left zero is we'll just give it a background so i've already the linear gradient I'm not going to type it in front of you guys, so I'll copy it and we'll, we'll paste it here. Alright, so that's its um, background. So now as you can see, when we said absolute, so it's actually taking the document as it's, uh, you can say, it's doing that relative to the document. So that's why you're seeing it like this. What we want to do is have it behind, uh, well, within this container, within the card container. So to do that, what you need to do is you need to come over here in your, um, I guess the card and uh, what you need to do is say position uh, relative and that should fix it. Yay. So also if I come over here to the card front right here, so I can do something like transform, right? And I can do rotate Y and I will just do zero degrees. All right, so that's that. And I'm gonna copy this and I'm going to go to the card back and I wanna flip this by 180 degrees. All right, so there we go. So now what happened What happened was the, the back side just kind of turned around 180 degrees and went to the back actually. And actually what I can do is if I do, let's say 45, so as you can see, it turned 45 degrees, but um, when we animate it, you will see the actual flipping happening. All right, so that's cool. So we got our front. Now we need to somehow trigger this, right? So when I hover my mouse, I want this to turn, just like we saw in the demo. All right, so how do we do this? Well, we can come here and first thing we'll do is we'll create a state. So we'll say flip. And then what we want to do is when I hover my mouse over the card, right here so you want to do this on the card then i want to do the flipping all right so how do we do that well very straightforward we use the on mouse enter that's what you want to use all right so we call this function and you do set flip oh set flip true and then on mouse leave mouse leave there you go thank you we say set flip to false. Now the other thing is I want to now pass this value somehow into the card back and card front. If I uh, come here to the card front, so I can just do a flip. I do want to put the curly braces and then I can come here and pass a flip there. And then I can come here to the card front 
and I can say flip is equal to this flip. I'll copy this and then we'll go here to the card bag and copy it here. All right, so what do we want to do with this? Well, I can say if flip is on, we do the ternary operator. So if it's flip, then uh, what you want to do is you want to turn this. And uh, for the card front, I'll say if it's flipped, then I want to rotate by one minus 180 because I want this to go to the back. Otherwise, we just, um, you know, we just say zero degrees. So I'm just going to copy this and we will do the same thing here, except that I will say zero and we will do minus 180. All right, so now uh, that's all nice and dandy. So you can see the front and back, that's happening. Pretty cool. We want to animate this, and how do we do this? Well, you could add it on the card front or back, but we're just gonna add it on the, I guess the parent card template. So what we will do is transition, right? And what do you wanna transition? We will say transform, transform. We will go over one second, and we will use the cubic Bezier curve. Right, and let's just do 0 0.8. I had to play around with these numbers, so just to get the effect I wanted. If you want something different, then you know, do whatever you want to do with it. All right, so just so something is not right. All right, after I typed this, I had to refresh the window. Sometimes, um, yeah, it just goes wonky. So anyway, so let's go. So if I have on my mouse, as you can see, we're getting this nice effect, but it's not 3D actually. How do we make it 3D? So I can say transform and what we'll do is a translate Z. We're just going to move 70 pixel and I will give it a scale of let's say 0 0.90. All right, so um, I just need to refresh this. I don't know why it does this. All right, so as you can see still, we're not getting the 3D, 3D effect. And as you can see, the back uh, is also visible. So something's not right. Oh, actually this is supposed to be small t. Okay, something happened. Whoa, here we go. So there you go. You're getting your, um, you're pretty cool. I think this should be maybe plus 180. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Or, uh, I mean, if this is minus, then this should be plus depending on which way you want to turn. Yep, there you go. Pretty cool actually, isn't it? All right, so the other thing I want to do is maybe add some gradient. So I have already that typed that. I'm not gonna type it again. So I'll just come here and paste it. It's called BG Fade. All right, so after this, we need to add it. So I'll just come here to the card front and outside of the content. We'll say BG fade and let's see what happens. Yay, as you can see the, the bottom kind of faded. So I think that's pretty cool. One thing you can do is watch if I move this up. So now you're getting this nice 3D effect. So you can play around with this definitely. And um, and then the back has a gradient too that I just applied. So one thing remember I was saying about the back face visibility. So the reason why we do this well, uh, let's see if I don't do it. I'm just going to remove this. As you can see, I'm, I can see the back side. So that's very important that you add that. And the other thing I remember I talked about was the Preserve 3D, which is this one. If I remove this, then it's not 3D anymore. So done. So stay tuned. Please like and subscribe. And I am out for now. Bye.